In this video, I will show you how we can use the graphical user interface with Git. So previously, all in all our videos, we used the command line tool, and uh, it's not the best solution when you are working with a huge uh, project where there are a lot of files and a lot of changes. It's okay when you have one file, you need to change something, add something, or update some small file or some small piece information. For larger projects, we need to use graphical user interface, or some of us have to use it because uh, it simplifies our work. And uh, for, especially for beginners, graphical user interface is a good solution. So today I will show you what, how can we use graphical user interface from the box what is, is coming with Git. So let's start um, with... Uh, so as I mentioned, the graphical user interface will simplify our work. So in Git there is a Git GUI and I will start with ampersand it. It will start on a new process and uh, we can work in our console and uh, in the same time in uh, this graphical interface. So let's start it. So here we are. It's, a, our, it's a, our graphic graphical user interface. It looks pretty simple without anything features and uh, it's okay right now. So what we can see here? Here right now we, have, we don't see almost anything. So let's do some small changes. Let's uh, edit our song txt file. So let's go and add some new file, new line. We will save it. And right now let's check in our GUI. Let's click rescan button. And now what can we see? We see that we have this file. It was modified song txt. We see that um, green in green color it something was added so new line was added and we even can check if something was deleted let's do it again and uh, let's delete something open git gui again rescan and now we can see that red it was what deleted and the green what was added so right now it's on state changes and we can uh, commit these changes to our git repository so let's do it to do it we need to click on this icon not uh, text not the file name it doesn't work on click icon we click it and now we see that these changes are staged and right now we can uh, add some commit and uh, after that we can commit and of course we need to push to our server so here we can see that it's master remote and let's push. So as we already configured SSH key, it should work fine. And yes, success. And let's check it on our GitHub repository. So here we are in GitHub repository. We see that we have four commits. Let's open and now we see this uh, added new line. So everything was changed and uh, was pushed. It works, it works as we expected. Also, what can we do? What's going on if we, for example, we will change two files. So let's edit this one again. Let's remove this. And uh, we will update readme. So again, let's open GUI. Let's rescan and now we see that we have two changes. It's in readme file, again something was deleted, something was added, and in the txt, in some txt. So we can push, for example, just one file or two files, just edit or click again remove. So we can push, let's push them together, commit and after that push to the server. In case if you are using SSH key with a passphrase, you, in this here you will need to enter your passphrase, your password. And let's push it. So it was pushed, so everything works fine. Another tool I will show you, it's uh, git k. Git k is a similar tool, it's coming from the box with git. It looks like git k. So all these comments we start from the git repository. Let's start it. And here, what can we see? This tool shows history of our changes. We can see that 
here we have all commits we had, it's initial commit, added sunk and added new line, the last two commits we did right now, new updates. So here we can see that old version, new version, difference and it show what was changed. And this still is coming from the box. But what I want to mention that uh, usually we do not use these tools because they look um, like this is Sparta. Here is nothing almost. So there are a few better tools. So let's open git GUI's clients. And uh, here there is, for example, source tree. Source tree is, um, I guess, most popular I know. Uh, tool because uh, I heard a lot of people using it so you can open it and uh, here you will see Everything is the same, but uh, it works much much better looks better at least for me and uh, other developers and uh, you can see the history of your changes uh, all files what was changed and um, Everything what you need to work with your git repository so you can take a look on this um, application or you can choose something else there are a lot of interesting tools. Another one what I can recommend you it's using integrated integrated git uh, in your IDE. For example, I'm using WebStorm. It's a lot of years I'm using it, and uh, Git is integrated here and um, version control, and uh, I can use it in the same way. I see the all commits. I see what was changed. I can check the difference or in our case it was added let's check here i can see what was changed what was before what was after difference i can see commit and also here we can see we have local changes what was changed we have log uh, also we can do all operations we see who did these operations we can filter we can choose a branch, so everything is integrated here. Usually it's much better and um, it's easier to work because here you can see all your changes, your file, what you did, and then you can check the previous history. And um, I recommend to take a look on this approach too. Thank you for watching, that's it.